Hi, my name is Georg Bowen. I'm professor in music at the University of Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. I would like to talk to you today about chunking, a software route for algorithmic composition. Chunking contains 23 different functions for the creation of musical rhythms. In this talk, I will be concentrating on the creation of musical sentences. Chunking contains algorithms for integer partitions. These are all sums of positive integers that are contained within a particular integer. For example, 10 contains the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, or the sum 3 plus 7, or the sum 6 plus 2 plus 2. These sums are of particular interest for the generation of musical rhythms. Furthermore, chunking implements the Boros Wheeler transform and its inverse transform. I also developed a new shorthand notation for rhythm that is based on the use of single ASCII characters which can be typed very quickly via the computer keyboard. Other algorithms come from the area of combinatorics on words, and these include bracelets and Christopher words. In combinatorics on words, a word is a finite or infinite sequence of letters taken from a finite alphabet. Finally, we also have fairy sequences which deal with proportions and subdivisions. How do all those algorithms relate to music? The integer partitions are used to structure musical sentences. By this we mean that the integer partitions define the lengths of the individual parts of a sentence. Looking at the lowest level of the sentence algorithm, we will see similarities with the non-isochronous meters that have been proposed by Justin London. The non-isochronous meter is built upon beats that are of different lengths. Usually there are beats that are two or three pulses long. We also find that forces of impulse and resolution play out in the opposition between those beats that are either two or three pulses long. Musical impulse can be generated in very different ways by using melody, harmony or rhythm. Once an impulse has been inserted into the music, it usually calls for a corresponding resolution, very similar to the act of breathing in and breathing out. One can find many asymmetric groupings in twos and threes in the rhythmic patterns of Turkey and Eastern Europe. Here is an example of a non-isochronous meter. Note the circular structure and note that we can step in at any point in order to have variations. A sentence can be regarded as a concatenation of such patterns. The sentence is built on a hierarchy of elements. The sentence is subdivided into phrases, which are further subdivided into patterns and finally into chunks of rhythms. In this example, we have a sentence of 30 pulses in length, which is subdivided into two phrases of 17 and 13, and into patterns of 9, 8, 6 and 7 pulses. This view should give you another idea of how this hierarchical structure works. This is based on the same sentence structure, but with a different realization of the individual chunks. I'm using a special kind of partition, namely a partition into distinct parts. That means all parts have to be unique and they have to be co-prime as well in order to generate good musical results. Two numbers are regarded to be co-prime if they don't share any of their devices. For example, 2 and 3 are co-prime as well as 7 and 12. We found that this feature has a direct influence on the musical result because of the level of impulse that can be generated. It also seemed beneficial that the numbers should not be too far away from each other. Therefore, we went for the smallest standard deviation within a partition. Here's an example of an entire musical sentence generated by this algorithm.
Because integer partitions are always produced in descending order, chunking has to do some more work in order to form a musical result. By that we mean a process where musical material expands in order to reach a point of maximum after which it has to decline. The longest part of a partition will always be found somewhere in the center, whereas the smaller parts are found at the beginning and at the end of the triangle. Now it's time to look at the lowest level of the musical sentence structure, the chunks of rhythms. At this level, chunking works with something we call templates. A template is simply a multi-set of twos and threes, representing durations in various orders. In order to better organize the large number of combinations that are possible, chunking uses seven different musical categories of templates. Here are some examples of categories of templates. First, the resistor. One or more twos are followed by one or more threes. The idea here is that a flow of twos is resisted against by the introduction of threes, which form an opposition, like The release template is the opposite of the resistor. Note that these are just examples and that the number of twos and threes can vary. The arch template consists of one or more threes surrounded by one or more twos, whereas the catenary is the exact opposite. In the interesting growth pattern, a small group of twos and threes starts to expand. The decline pattern goes the opposite way. Finally, the alternating pattern is a simple repeat of a small group. The final step is to translate the chunks of twos and threes into actual rhythms. For this purpose, we have developed shorthand notation. It is based on a grid of two or three pulses. And as you can see in the left column of the table, simple ASCII codes are able to encode all the possible rhythmic chunks. Chunking produces three types of outputs. First, a C sound score file. Second, a script for Lillipond to render it into Western notation. And third, a list of all the shorthand rhythms that occur during the processing, saved as a text file. Chunking is a command line application that runs in a shell. It calls its different functions with the option M and further arguments. In this example, sentence is called with two arguments. 30 denotes the length of the complete sentence, whereas 2 denotes the number of phrases or patterns that are being generated. Here are some of the possible outcomes after executing this command. This is the C sound score file. Here's the script that is needed for Lillipond. And this shows you an excerpt of the text file that is used in order to save all the rhythmic patterns that have been generated so far. And finally, the PDF file generated by Lillipond after inputting that script. Note the number of sentences and the variations between them. This is all being generated automatically by the same algorithm. And now a few demos in C sound.
These three little demos showed hopefully how to use chunking's output to drive synthesis and sampling in C sound. I hope you enjoyed the talk. Chunking is available as a GPL licensed open source software downloadable at GitHub. Details here. Thank you so much for listening and have a great rest of the conference.